Let's do some Q&As. I asked some questions on the Instagram. Follow me at Guava. Okay. All right. First question. It's by uh, One Matt Ballin. What inspired you to start your YouTube career? Mm. Uh, boredom. I was very bored. And uh, <laughs> I needed lunch money in college. So I heard that you can make money off of YouTube. So I needed a f I needed to find a way to make money on YouTube to so I could feed myself in college. Because I feel bad using my mom's money for, for college stuff. So like, how can I make money without using my mom's money? But at the same time, not working at the coffee shop at college. Ah, let me just try YouTube. And I eventually liked it and loved it, and I kept going and going, and yeah, now we're, uh, look at me. I'm talking about how to make a, a video. Ha <laughs> ha. Moving on. Read this one. So this is from userlim underscore 08. Is being a YouTuber stressful? Yes. It is stressful. One, I mean, it could be stressful, but, you know, for the most part, it's pretty fun. Um, it's just stressful um, with finding things to film okay like i think the most stressful part is like when a video does well people expect that video and like how do you step it up one notch to make the the next video even better so what i've done is i just film multiple types of videos so that way people forget the video <laughs> that blew up and they show interest to many different videos that's just me though so <laughs> That's why I don't know, like Mr. Beast, like I, I love his stuff, but his audience is all going to expect more and more, mm. and eventually he's gonna be like <laughs> last to leave the circle wins one billion dollars, and like, dude, <laughs> that's, so funny. that's gonna be too much. So it's kind of like I would do that, but it's like the fans expect more and more and more and more. So, hey. I mean, that's why he has like almost like 30 million subscribers because, mm. you know, he works hard and he figured out the retention formula. So if you want a good retention formula, watch his videos and study his videos and understand why each second is on YouTube. Mm. And we're like, OK, this this is here because, oh, that is good. That's he jumped off a building. That's great. <laughs> and he survived. That's OK. But don't do that, though. Don't jump off a building. That's bad. Next question. Oh, so this is from Kimber Acacia. Wait, that name sounds so familiar. That is so weird. Where did the name <laughs> Kava Juice? Oh, <laughs> I was like, I started on this. this. Oh yeah. Okay, go ahead. Where did the name Guava Juice come from? Uh, Guava Juice <laughs> came from uh, in the Philippines. Uh, my grandparents had a guava tree and. Uh, when I first started the channel, I wanted to, you know, name a channel that no one named it for before. And I figured, hey, guava. No one really knows guava. Let's see if it's taken. Dang it, it's taken. How about guava juice? All right, cool. I'll take guava juice. That's that's really it. That's where it came from. I'm just like, hey, I remember my guava tree in the backyard of the grandparents' house. Dang it. Guava is taken. Guava juice is available. Let's take it. What happens when you type in guava.com? I'm just curious now. Don't do that. Don't, okay. It's going to take you <laughs> into a dark hole. Oh, no. Not a dark hole. 